the stories of those buried in Jewish in the Jewish section of Auckland's oldest cemetery are coming to life thanks to the work of a Hebrew reading student. Richard Myberg has been meticulously translating and documenting Hebrew inscriptions on more than 80 headstones in the Simon Street Cemetery for two months simply because they don't exist. Old records containing the translations were destroyed back in the 1940s along with what was known about those buried there. Our reporter Annika Smith went to the Simon Street Cemetery to pay Mr Myberg a visit. Nestled in the heart of central Auckland, you'll find the city's oldest cemetery, consecrated in 1842. The burial ground sprawls either side of the Simon Street thoroughfare and has 1,200 graves, 80 of which have inscriptions in both English and Hebrew. So if you look at the inscription, it's super simple. The Pate and the Nun, P and an N in Hebrew, that's an abbreviation for Po Nikbar, which just means here lies. So it's the, basically the start of every single one of these headstones. Richard Myberg first started transcribing the Jewish headstones after realising other anthropology students were bypassing studying them because they couldn't find translations. The 21-year-old Auckland University student, who can read Hebrew, says he simply saw a need. I like being here when I'm reading them and writing them because there's something about the space that I think really lends itself to just sort of the weight of it and the gravity of it. Um, but some of that, that's just not possible. It's too uh, worn away or weathered and it's just illegible. So I have, I come at night and I look super creepy with my camera and my flashes, get real nice harsh oblique lighting, take the photos home. You have to run them through Photoshop still um, and try and get what I can out of it. It's, it's a long, uh, and pretty boring process, honestly, just trying to pick all the little details out of it. And Linda Lucas from the Auckland Council says the 80 odd headstones have been transcribed before. A lot of the information about Simon Street was lost in a fire in a building, I think in the 1940s. And so over the last few years, the Friends of Simon Street and Auckland Council have been putting together um, information about the cemetery. and we've gathered English transcriptions, uh, but we've never had the Hebrew transcription. Gary Lambert, a retired detective who worked in the Auckland CIB for nearly 40 years, knows more than most about the historic site. A family tree project 18 years ago has morphed into a passion for discovering and archiving the cemetery stories. And when the amateur historian heard what Richard Myberg was doing, he couldn't wait to meet him. I've researched the families as far as I can that are buried in here, but the Hebrew has always remained a bit of a mystery as to what exactly it said, whether it was a translation of the English or whether it was something different. At least 20 headstones were damaged and defaced in 2012, some spray painted with swastikas. Mr Myberg hopes his transcriptions will help people better understand the Jewish community. Jews occupy a really interesting and weird space in New Zealand with such a low population but at the same time this is smack dab in the middle of the city and it's very public and visible and I think because there are so few Jewish people in New Zealand there's a lot of mischaracterization and misrepresentation that's just born out of like not really knowing uh, I think that's that's probably the main source of all the vandalism is just that people don't really know what Jews are <laughs> in a weird way um, so I think having just the very mundane day-to-day -day information about the lives and deaths of ordinary Kiwi people um, in such a public setting, I just think that's really important. The Auckland Council plans to add Richard's transcriptions to its website, so while the headstones won't last forever, the tributes to those buried there will. Mō te hōtaka o te ahiahi nei, ko Anika Smith aho. Thanks, Annika. More brilliant reporting there from Annika Smith, as well as our cameraman Nick Monroe, also worth a watch back on our website, rnz.co.nz, or our Facebook page to catch up on later on.